guys, Adam here from Fishy Business. Well today I'm at one of my local favourite fishing haunts, the Hen and Chicken Islands, which is on the east coast of the North Island of New Zealand. And what we're doing today is we're going to be targeting yellowtail kingfish with live baits. Now out here we fish in about 10 to 40 metres of water and we have to put those live baits where the schoolfish are to find the kingfish. And to do that I use my Scotty Downrigger. It's an absolute killer out here. The rig I'm using, I'll start with a 50 pound rig. I've got a Daiwa Saltiga here all set up ready to go. I've got a 10 foot 100 pound fluorocarbon trace which I crimp. I like to crimp my heavier traces rather than tie. I think it just flows a bit better. And on that I've got a 10 burrow recurved hook which I'll attach to my live bait using a rubber band and a really simple bridal technique which we'll show you in a minute. So let's get out there and see if we can down rig up some New Zealand kingfish. So how we rig our live baits when we're downrigger, I use a very basic bridle rig using a rubber band and what I do is I create a loop in the rubber band and put the hook through it like so and then I add it to my bait needle which has got an open eye so I can thread my rubber band on like that. Now I'm ready to bridle rig up a bait, I'll grab a bait. Always have a little bait net, makes life a lot easier. And your baits do wriggle around. And what you do is you hook them in front of the eye socket, not through the eye. Then you pull the rubber bait needle and rubber band right through, remove the bait needle. Then you create another loop, like so, and thread that one through the hook. Now we've got, pull it tight, really nice basic bridle, works perfectly. Some people twist them around and pull them through so they sit up straight, but I don't think it seems to matter. I'm happy with it like that. Right, let's get them into the water. Right, so I let my baits back about 20 meters before I put them onto the release clip. Here's the release clip, this is like a pressurised clip, so you just put the line in there when the kingy bites it, it'll hold the line bait in but the kingy bites it, it snaps off. And then I control the release and the line going down. And I like to go down about 15 metres in the area we're fishing, we're fishing about 25 metres. Use the counter. And just before you get to where you want, just tighten up a little bit on the drag, so it puts a better bend on your rod. Everything's locked in there. You want that bend in your rod so that when you get a strike, it releases up and it lets you know. And you set your drag to an extent where it's not going to overrun, but it'll probably set the hook. And then when you actually uh, take the rod out of the holder, that's when you put it up into strike. We were just going past the point and there was a ton of bait and I said this looks good and uh, the downrigger just smoked off. So it's an electric downrigger so I just flick that up and it automatically pulls it up and stops when it reaches the surface. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's got the feel. Go over to this corner. Oh, what happened? No, something gay. Busted me off. Damn. Well, I thought I was safe. I was out in 45 meters, and he clean busted me off. Oh well, have to rig up and have another go. Ready to go. Oh, he's got a bit of wiggle. Oh, 
So my count is in feet, I wish it was in metres, but uh, I can work it out. There we go, 45. Put a bit of pressure on the rod. There we go. All set, hopefully ready for another strike. I'm finally solid. I've had a few tough hookups today and been busted off a couple of times. But I'm finally on the money on the downrigger. This is just here. It's not the biggest one I've ever caught, but man, you put up a scrap. I'll chuck him in the net. Measure him up, see how much he measures. Legal length is 75 centimetres. So uh, I think he might do a bit better than that though. Well, that's number one on the downrigger today. I think we can do a little bit better, so I'll let this one go. Launch away. So I've set the bait out now and we're trolling along about two and a half knots. Depending on the size of your bait, anything from two to five knots. If you're using a big skip jack tuner, you can use, it'll go five knots. Um, but with these smaller baits, yeah, a couple of knots is all we need. And we use our electronics in a number of ways. Um, I've got the Simrad Evo 3 here, and I've got it set up with um, chart plotter and sounder. But on the sounder side of things, there's three things we really look for. We look for the bottom, the depth of the bottom, because obviously we don't want to bottom out with our downrigger. You will also see the downrigger ball as it's travelling along, so you know how deep it is. And the third and probably the most vital thing is we're looking for bait schools. If we come over any bait schools, we'll circle around those, because that's where the kingfish hang out. On the chart plotter side of things, we use our track to retrace steps that we've gone over. If there's an area we get a strike or there's an area where there's a bait school, we can put a mark on that and go back over it so we're fishing productive water all the time. We're just coming up to the point where I got hit before. And as you can see, I've got my downrigger ball just going through a big ball of bait fish. And that's what we try and achieve when we're live baiting with the downrigger, dragging those baits through the bait fish. They look, look worried and nervous and the bigger fish are trailing behind these bait balls and they come in for the attack and obviously my bait's the easiest one for them to catch. The conditions have become beautiful this afternoon. Just pump and wine. This is pretty heavy gear, so I can go pretty hard on them. There's the leader coming up. Let him swim in circles. <laughs> Don't be scared to take your rod out of the gimbal if you need to fetch over the back of the boat. There's a trace. Well, it looks like quite a nice one. Just uh, look, grab him. Grab him by the lips. There we go. Not a bad little downrigger kingfish. Circle hook right in the mouth. 
rubber band did its job on the bridle. Took a big live bait. Must have been hungry. 